Hey you guys, we got the June 2015 Class Wars Finals, this is for mages of course, and uh, I'm back in Warlords Hall, that's largely because I have a lot of a lot more U-Demon BR, I upgraded my, my Archer U-Demon to level 7, so that's enough to boost me up uh, with enough BR to make it into, into Warlords Hall. Uh, for resistances, I went with Dark, Wind, and Light. I end up changing my light to fire later on, but that's only after I encounter Asher, who brings a light pet. Um, I figured he would bring light again, he had some success with it last month. Things start out quite difficult for me with a fight against Chili Mac, who, uh, who really ripped me up in, in the prelims, and, uh, and it's about the same here. I get a nice illusion and don't get stunned by that first ice, ice bolt. Uh, which I thought was a sign of good things to come. Um, here I'm set up pretty standard with uh, my Medusa and my Triton. Uh, I don't bring my Goddess of Prosperity as a troop, even though uh, she's, you know, I've evolved her. Um, I, I use my Goddess of Prosperity as my main sylph, and so she isn't really set up to have a lot of support skills the way that uh, my Medusa is set up. So, a little bit different there. But uh, still, these are my, my best sylph troops, in my opinion. And, uh, and so, um, I have dark, water, and wind, which is very, very standard here. But I think it's a great combination and very solid. Let me see, Chili Mac has it as well. And here, this is how he beat me up the first time in free limbs. He gets a stun on me, and Chili Mac has, I think, level 20 influence, or, you know, if not level 20, very, very close to it. And so I just, uh, I get stunned for too many turns, uh, probably like uh, two or three turns, and so within that time, he ends up killing me. <laughs> um, uh, I have a decent chunk of dark resistance, I mean his attack must be pretty outrageous or something because uh, other players, you know, will not beat me up that quickly even if I'm stunned and unable to go into sylph mode yet. Of course once I get into sylph mode I would have been protected more because um, of that power of darkness passive on Hecate. Here is more stuns. I be I begin the beginning of this this finals stun a lot. Um, this is a very tough draw as far as just who I get at the at the beginning. Uh, it's Chili Mac who uh, is pretty much a guaranteed loss for me right now, and then Solara who's almost as <laughs> guaranteed. Um, Solara now with a red uh, red goddess of prosperity. So the first uh, red wind sylph out of out of my crossover section. And uh, he also has very, very high influence. But I feel like I get stunned by people who I have, you know, higher influence than and or similar influence to. So I just, I spent a lot <laughs> of this final stunned. I still did, I, I still performed alright in, in my opinion, but it just, that's a lot of stuns. And here, um... You know, I'm just getting out of the stun here, trying to get a heal rune out, and <laughs> it doesn't work out my way. So after two months of being in Warriors Hall and winning Warriors Hall both times, um, I return to Warlords Hall and take two losses, so thank you for the welcome. <laughs> this time I get Cupcake, and this is her first time in Warlords Hall, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so big congratulations to her for um, getting enough BR. It's a little bit different than my situation where I was pretty much just being stubborn and not having enough uh, U-Demon BR to get into Warlords Hall for her. It's uh, um, been a much more gradual process, so welcome to the big leagues. Here I get stunned again. There are definitely more occasions where um, I'm the one who gets stunned rather than uh, stunning other opponents, and it's definitely not for a lack of effort on my part, but just how it works out. Um, I am glad that I left my U-Demon on. For a while I was really considering uh, not bringing my U-Demon just because I thought it was dead weight, but actually um, my U-Demon ab absorbs some of the ice bolts that I would have taken, and uh, if I don't have the U-Demon there in the beginning, then it's a 100% chance that the ice bolt will hit me, whereas um, if I leave my U-Demon there, it's uh, you know only a 50% chance of hitting me with the the initial ice bolts, so that's very good. I didn't think too much about it when I was fighting her, but I don't think that this self choice uh, 
on Cupcake's part was really in her favor. Uh, she decides to use her Goddess of Prosperity as her main sylph, but just knowing her, I'm pretty sure that her Hecate has more BR than, than her Goddess of Prosperity, so she'll probably have more endurance and things if she if she had uh, her Hecate on. And, um, and maybe she thought that Wind would have more of a resistance advantage, so people aren't going to protect against Wind as much. That might be the case, but, you know, first time in Warlords Hall, her BR is not, you know, going to be super competitive. And, um, I think she would have had a little bit more success with a Dark Sylph. Um, you know, with a, with a Wind Sylph on, everybody still protects against Wind. There is not a single person here without Wind Resistance. That is absolutely for sure. Um, so if they're going to protect against Dark and protect against Wind, um, you might as well take the one that's, that's stronger. But, um, I guess it's worth trying to, to take some risks. Oh, look at that. I'm stunned again. Here's Shady, who, you know, uh, I think has been in Warlords, uh, in Warriors Hall with me the past couple of months. I don't think this is her first time in Warlords Hall, though. I'm pretty sure I've seen Shady, uh, creep her way into Warlords Hall before. She's also back up here with me. Her stun not too bad, Cupcake stun also was not too bad, um, so definitely their influence is lower. The ones against Chili Mac, against, uh, um, against Solara were much longer, 2-3 moves, um, because their, their influence is so high. So Shady and a lot of other players take the approach that I like, which is to get out an early Ice Bolt and try to stun them um, at the beginning, and then hopefully um, closer to Sylph mode to get another stun out, which Shady is successful. Um, hers goes through. And so I'm in a little bit of a predicament. Luckily, uh, my Dark Resistance seems to be holding up alright. So she gets a Devour Soul there, which is pretty big. Um, but I get a heal out. I try to get into Sylph mode here. But just as I'm uh, clicking the Awakening button, that Goddess of Prosperity hits me with a steal. So I lose that turn. And, uh, and just looking at it, desperately need a heal. So heal rune into Sylph mode. And, uh, and try and get things going. Her Delphic doesn't seem to hit me for much there, which is sort of surprising. And as I go into Sylph mode, she gets a uh, an amnesia on me, which is pretty standard play, but really well-timed on her part, actually. Um, I'm lucky enough that uh, it doesn't kill my de Devour Soul at the beginning, and uh, and I still have Devil's Gaze, even though I probably would have liked to have my Delphic or Death's Harvest there. Um, so it looks like her Dark Resistance is very, very low. I, I was surprised how quickly she went down um, just from those two hits. So um, even though she played really well uh, as far as keeping me out of Sylph mode, getting some nice stuns and things, um, just her Resistance probably is failing her there and and maybe VR but I'm not sure what her physical defense looks like or HP or anything like that. Here's Whitley who is the bi player. I um, barely even see him because he's a ghost for the beginning of it. Um, looks like my kid killed him first. Um, but that's what happens when a, a player doesn't show up so he's a bi round. Um, Turns out that's Lala, so you can see in the rankings that Lala isn't there, and if she were, she would probably be in the top five. And, um, and so that killed a lot of wagers, for sure. Um, Lala's, I think, the highest BR out of the bunch, and so uh, that might not be the case with Sylph Troops. But as far as player BR out of the mages, Lala is the strongest. Here's Euphoric, who's someone who was always sort of floating around in the top 16 by BR long time player and uh, you know he's from Wartoon 11 which <laughs> that's uh, that's one of the oldest servers for sure um, so he's been at the top for a long time but sort of like me has I don't think he's taken a victory uh, here at class wars a two star heck eight um, I'm up to five stars on mine and uh, next time there's a Mahara event I'm pretty sure I can get mine to one banana which I'm very excited about because my my Hecate is named Nut Nutella, and everybody knows that bananas and Nutella go well together. So, I'm very pleased about.
that naming and the shape of the little bananas that you get after you get stars. It's gonna be nice. He goes with a light pet and a water pet here, which I think is kind of interesting. I don't know if it's just because he doesn't have a built-up Medusa, or um, which, which I think is more standard, or if he thinks that light will be better here. Um, I think light is kind of an odd choice. When it's pretty weak against all these dark pets, so it'll die pretty quickly, but I guess I guess all the kids, not kids, sorry, self troops, die pretty quickly now because the uh, because all of the attack stats are so outrageous now. Everybody has a full set of magical attack gems and then a full set of magical plus crit. And so yeah, the magical attack stats, I mean they're all over 230k around in in this hall. Maybe only like the like very low ranked as or you know definitely the top 10 out of War Warlords Hall have over 230k magical attack. No doubt in my mind. Here's Arlie, who I've had some close fights with in the past in, in Class Wars, but here it just looks like she does not have a lot of M-Def, and so she's taking a lot of damage even uh, in Class Mode. I kind of know how Arlie is going to play though, I know she's going to be pretty patient and uh, try and go into Sylph Mode second, and because I know that, um, actually I get to set the pace for the fight, and so... Um, I get to really decide when we're going to sylph mode. So while that type of thing happens, uh, I know I want to wait close to the 100% increase, the, the damage increase. And then if I go first, I get to hit her first with my dark sylph, and so hopefully I can deal a lot more damage than she does. Molly brings a uh, chaos rune here, which is not my favorite rune choice. Maybe I'll get more into it. Once uh, I, I have my fight against Ray, who ends up bringing a Chaos Rune as well, but I just don't think it's that great of a choice. Uh, she is clearly using it to block my heals, and I think it's because she thought I was going to go into Sylph mode pretty soon. But again, I get to set the pace because she's trying to wait until I Sylph first. Um, here she uses Ice Bolt though and gets a nice stun on me so I don't have a Centauria on. My health is, you know, a, th a third of it's gone and uh, and it's a great opportunity for her to go into Sylph mode but she doesn't take it. And so uh, the stun ends and, uh, and I'm off into Sylph mode with uh, a 100% increase on all my, uh, on all the damage she takes. Of course I'm going to take 100% more damage as well but uh, here I got my Snowflake on. A little shield. I don't know what her train's up to. It should definitely be shielding, but it's not. And, uh, yeah. Finish up with a Delphic. She also brings Athena, or the second evolution of the Light Sylph, and, um, odd, odd. Self troop choice, but not the only person to do that. Oh, I don't know what's going on in Warlord's Hall since I've been away. <laughs> now we've got Asher, and uh, for once I get to stun somebody at the beginning of a fight, um, but he gets an amnesia on me before that, so uh, while he's stunned, I'm just sitting there auto attacking. And uh, he does have his light sylph on, and I'm just letting him know that I did bring light res just for him. He had quite a bit of success with this light sylph last time around, and so I'm not surprised he did it again. And he does quite well with it this time. He really carves a path for himself into fourth place. Um, other than the than the light sylph, he takes pretty standard sylph troops. It's not like he's putting his dark sylph into uh, into his sylph troops just for the BR. He goes with Medusa and Train instead. Here he gets a stun on me that's only one turn, but it continues to to persist, I guess, and uh, doesn't go away. So I'm actually pressing the, the space bar this entire time through the fight, and um, and at the same time just using heals and stuff uh, because I can't get into sylph mode. It was really frustrating. Um, this happens a lot to me in arena, and then this is how I take uh, losses in, in group arena fights uh, plenty. It happened to me a bunch in uh, Titan War preliminaries as well. Um, but uh, it was really disappointing that it was against this fight um, with, Arsh uh, with Asher. Um, I felt like 
Uh, I would have had a really good advantage on him had I gone into Sylph mode. I knew his dark resistance wasn't fantastic, and um, definitely with a light Sylph it would be even worse, and, uh, and I would have been protected more against his light Sylph once I got into Sylph mode. Um, so it's just a really frustrating all around there, but um, can't really fret over it since uh, I have my next fight. Now we have the original Windsylph user, Ray7, and, uh, and I thought I was about to kill my kid, but that Ice Bolt went through. Um, but she does use Chaos Rune here. Her other rune is a Heal Rune, which uh, you probably don't see until later in the fight. But I uh, really just don't like the Chaos Rune choice on, on anybody's part. But especially Ray, just because I think she probably could have secured herself another um, Class Wars win with, with a better choice. Probably a Guardian Rune. Um, particularly with... Um, with the Goddess Prosperity, I think uh, you have to have a lot of confidence in yourself to not bring a, a, a Guardian Rune to, to Class Wars. And maybe she had success with the, with the Chaos Rune before, um, but I think the novelty of the Chaos Rune is going to wear off pretty quickly. Uh, maybe just because my U Demon sucks, you know, it really just doesn't have a lot of stuff on it and it's not that strong. I don't really care about the fact that I kill my own U Demon. Um, so the other place that it, a Chaos Rune is helpful is preventing your opponent from using heals. And, uh, but again, uh, not really a huge issue. You can work around it pretty easily, especially with runes. If, you, if I have very uh, defensive runes, so I just, I don't know, not too impressed with the, the rune choice there. Um... But I got into Sylph mode really early. I wanted to um, get in there soon just because I saw that she had another Medusa and I didn't want to get caught with her going into Sylph mode first and uh, preventing me from using my Delphic or something like that. Um, so I decided it was best just to go ahead and Sylph mode early, or at least early for me. There I tried to stay in Sylph mode as long as possible because I was worried that if I got out too soon she would have a lot of attacks in sylph mode uh, while I was out of sylph mode and so I'd be taking a lot of damage. Um, so that actually, that part of my plan worked out pretty well. She gets a stun on me. I'm thinking she must have not brought thunder or something because I'm surprised to not see a thunder in the works. I think if she did I probably would have been dead uh, by this turn or the next. <laughs> um, but, uh, works out for me. Get a Centauria, go into Sylph mode. Um, I was out of Sylph mode first, so I'm back in. Get my Guardian rune out and uh, try and wipe her out. There, the heal rune helps her because uh, there's really no way I can kill her off and. Um, she definitely deals more damage than I do. She has more BR and stronger than I am. Her attack stat is outrageously high. It's probably a solid 10k higher than mine. Well, okay. Definitely after pots and things, it's even higher. Like, the, the gap between our attack stats is even higher. But maybe just original stats, maybe it's, it's like 5k or so higher than mine. Here's my buddy Smartass, who I'm always happy to see. She has always managed to scrape her way into uh, Warlord's Hall somehow. Well, she's been in Warrior's Hall with me, I think, before, but um, she's pretty good at uh, fudging her BR into something usable in, in Warlord's Hall. And she absolutely takes the cake for weirdest sylph troops, or just weirdest set of sylphs, all three of them, for... Uh, for this haul. Um, I don't know why on earth she needs two Hecates, but she has them, uh, which I find, I don't know, really funny, I guess. It just seems like something she would do because, I don't, I don't know, it's just totally outrageous to me that she has two of them, but she does, and she brings she brings two Dark Sil I was not surprised by the fact that she had another Dark uh, dark Sylph as, as one of her troops because she's done that before, but the fact I didn't know that both of them were evolved to Hecate, and I, I don't know why, that just cracked me up. Uh, I found it so funny. So, my Medusa gets a steal out there, I'm in pretty good shape. <laughs> I get my shield on as well. I don't know why I did that guardian rune on top of 
uh, the, the shield from Trayan, but I did. Well, either way, she's in a bit of trouble because I do have a BR advantage on her. She also brings this damn chaos rune. I just, uh, I don't know. It kills me how many people bring that chaos rune. <laughs> but from her, I, you know, chaos rune is something that I think is more appropriate for players that it, it's more like a surprise or something, you know, for people who are going to be playing from a disadvantage. Um, I think for, you know, Ray's case, I, I think it was more surprising to me that she, she brought a Chaos Rune because I think she could have um, won much more solidly and if she had a, a Guardian Rune, you know, uh, again, have to be really confident in your, in your survivability, so your HP and your defense and your resistances to not bring a Guardian Rune as a mage and uh, I think... There aren't many mages, even the, the top ones, that can really cut it without one. Here's DHR, who's really been coming back up in, in BR. Uh, at first, I wasn't really sure if uh, he was just playing more actively, but it does seem like he's cashing more actively again, because um, he had taken a dip in, in the rankings for a while, and uh, now it seems like he's back in business. Another set of standard sills, so dark versus dark with water and wind support. So I get my Centaurian try and get into sylph mode as quickly as possible. I don't want to see an awe from his dark sylph or a steal from his Medusa go, go too quickly or else I have to wait another probably two turns, at least one if not two turns to get into sylph mode. And uh, so it's just better off that uh, I follow him. So his uh, shields from Triton definitely helping him out there, or else I think I would have gotten him with that Delphic. So really just an overall BR advantage here. Looks like my Dark Resistance is holding up pretty well. I think... Uh, um, that one advanced dark dimension that I have really does help out. Um, that said, they nerfed dimensions quite a bit, so the, the percentage bonuses on your resistance crystals aren't um, as crazy as they used to be. So I'm just shy of a thousand dark resistance. And here's Mr. Gruntar. Um, he did what I, what I was definitely considering, which is dropping um, his, his U Demon. And uh, that probably means that he's been stunned a whole bunch, this this class war is um, probably just as much or more than myself. I don't know what his influence is at, but that's probably just an assumption on my part. Seems like his MDef is sort of low. Um, I don't know how he's stacking his defense and things. Either that or his HP is low and his defense is high, but that isn't the feeling that I got from that. And he goes with Meteor to take out the kids. So he's wasting no time getting into sylph mode. So again, Centauria into sylph mode. Don't want to get any sort of awe or steal. Um, my Medusa is just taking her sweet time though. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes one of the sylph troops does lag behind getting into sylph mode, but it's been a while since it's done that. I mean, that was a solid that wasn't like, you know, a half or a full turn uh, wait. It was really took until my second turn to, to finally awaken. It's a pretty standard play here. It doesn't get a guardian rune out, so I am in good shape. Oh wow, and he takes a lot of damage from my water self. I didn't notice that. I mean, that's very surprising. So here are Solara, Chili, Ray. Our top three. And here's Fear. And uh, oh, I forgot to mention that after that fight with Asher, who had the light sylph on, I changed all of my light crystals to fire ones. And I was really quite pleased with myself about doing that after I saw. Um, 
Sylphir is Sylphir. And, uh, and so he does go ahead and bring Ares, uh, the second evolution of the Fire Sylphs. And uh, I think Ares is actually a pretty good choice for, for mages. You know, not... Um, you know, most people favor Dark, which I think is definitely stronger in um, a lot of situations, really. But, uh, but Fire is pretty nice, and um, he does a pretty good job with it here. So what I should have done is Centauria and get my butt into Sylph mode like I did previously. But for whatever reason, I'm compelled to stay out of Sylph mode and use a Restore. Maybe I was just worried about... Um, his fire attacks or something. If I was that worried about the fire attacks, I would have sylphed earlier. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know why I did that. Um, I don't get my guardian rune in time. My snowflake isn't in time. I don't know. Total mess. Uh, but because of that, I just end up using a heal rune and, uh, that fixes most of the issue. Um, you know, as far as resistances go, um, defensively, we're about the same, but um, maybe my reduce res is better or something like that. Um, definitely my BR advantage helps there. Uh, you know, uh, It doesn't show that much in the rankings, but I do have a BR advantage as far as player stats go on most of these players, aside from uh, Solara, Ray, Chili, Lala, and uh, maybe Kavla has higher ones as well but other than that I, I think um, as far as how my player stats uh, stack up I'm I do quite well um, it's mostly just because my U demon is behind that it doesn't um, show that much in the rankings here's Ariel who I'm always a little bit careful of um, I've had some surprise losses to Ariel in the past so um, I try to <laughs> never take her too lightly Try to take all my fights pretty seriously as far as just uh, strategy goes. I still try to have fun, but, um, but yeah, for sure I am careful against her. Here, getting my Centauria out. She has the awe going. Oh, this time I go for a stun, which is, as far as commentary goes, not what I, what I was expecting. I did not remember doing this. Kind of a weird choice. So I end up stunning her Wind Sylph, which is not too bad, because uh, the Wind Sylphs can get sort of annoying with all the buffs and debuffs that they do. So going into Sylph mode with a bit of a disadvantage, but Sylphing and throwing my Guardian Rune. You can get a Devour Soul, hopefully her Dark Resistance is not too crazy, and I get a decent heal. Yeah, there we go. 194k crit, so I get a decent chunk of HP back as well. Looks like her uh, her Goddess of Prosperity does the the steal pretty late. Even though I stunned uh, her Goddess, it just seems like that was uh, definitely second or third turn skill. It looks like her Dark Resistance is not quite up to stuff. Other than her physical defense, because... Uh, she's taking quite a bit of damage there. And last round. I knew I'd be playing Kavla for 5th place here. Um, even though I'm in 5th right now because Kavla took a loss to somebody I, did, I didn't. If uh, Kavla beats me here, then I end up uh, tied with her um, as far as wins go. And then uh, she would be ahead of me by BR. I knew this was the big fight for top five, and um, uh, fourth or fifth gets the same number of crystals, but uh, um, fifth and sixth do not. So if I got sixth place, I would get 3,800 uh, glory crystals, whereas if I place fifth, I get um, 4,000. So playing for a little bit of a prize, and also, I guess, not really bragging rights, but I was really aiming for... Uh, top five this time around. I didn't know that Lala wasn't going to be here or that Asher would um, be doing really well with his Light Sylph, but uh, I figured between Chili, um, yeah, Chili, Solara, Ray, and Lala that, you know, fifth place was probably a, a reasonable goal, um, but Lala's not here, Asher's doing well, and so, yeah, still battling it out to try and get fifth place. Looks like Kavala's taking a whole bunch of damage here, though. 
Oh, but dealing quite a bit. So she clearly was probably winning on how much damage she's dealing. Maybe her attack stats are just really uh, stacked up or something. I have my nice uh, Medusa 30% buff and going to do my Delphic, but she has her Guardian Rune out, so it doesn't quite cut it. Guardian Rune plus a Restore is pretty much a surefire way to stay into stay in a fight. It is the, uh, the godsend of all mages, but I managed to pull off a win there. So I do end up in 5th place with 11 wins. And uh, we have Solara winning for the first time in a year. He's gotten second place so many times, so I'm so happy for him. Uh, we talk a lot on Facebook about uh, Class Wars plans and just general play, so I'm really happy to see a friend of mine uh, back at the top. Um, and uh, then Ray in second and Chili Mac in third after they tied in wins. And, uh, and uh, Ray has more BR. Got my little announcement for uh, placing 5th or being the top on my server. And then I get 4,000 glory crystals plus whatever I get for my wager and stuff. Um, so that's pretty nice. So again, Solara in 1st for the mages. Miranda taking 1st amongst the knights. And so big congrats to her for... I'm pretty sure this is her first Class Wars win. Um, you know, I don't think it was possible for her before. Uh, she's finally pushed her, uh, her account uh, enough to be able to take that title and uh and she has that big scary fire self which i'm sure helped her unless she brought her dark self which i which is also very strong but i my guess is she probably brought the fire and uh and then azrakhan back on top for the archers you know there's only so long that he can stay away from being eagle eye um i'm pretty sure this, this is his 10th class wars win I just did a BG video uh, with a bunch of fights against him. I think I said it was nine. I looked it up, and so I'm pretty sure this is his tenth, which is just outrageous and awesome. And he has definitely won the most class wars out of any class or any player um, in, in our section. And then at the bottom, you can see all the rankings and BRs. Um, you can just think of it. You know, my BR is a little bit deceptively low. I would at least add on 100,000 to it, if not 150 to 200k BR. Be well, not 200, but 150k is reasonable just because my U Demon is much weaker than the other players. And so if you want sort of like a comparable BR, um, I think adding 150 is, is reasonable. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Here's hoping that I can only do better in the future months now that I'm back in Warlords Hall. So I'll see you guys later. Take care and have a very good day.